talking just sound like a show. I'm just laying you know that I'm not in the tank. Hey, coach, put me in the game. It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New York Jets and the New England Patriots, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. Take the Lincoln Tunnel from Weehawken through Secaucus across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. selected to bring it out and in hindsight probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line so now here comes the jet offense as they get ready to take over they'll be led out by a man who upset the AFC champs in his first career start last year during the regular season out of western Kentucky here's Mike White and there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building potential they're sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. The play fake, now White. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. To throw, White. And his throw here is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. White able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin and he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39 the jet passing game in rhythm they've got another first and that was good protection there no that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way nice connection there for a really nice game
So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Off play action. Here's White. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Here's White. Open man here is Conklin. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 12-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now White. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Elijah Moore, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you don't like that call on the opening drive of the game. It's a very strong limb that you're out on right now. Okay, hey, look. The game between college and the NFL continues to creep closer, but that is truly a college play, not an NFL play. Because you snap the ball from the three-yard line there, whether it's going for one or going for two. So it makes sense to try it that way to maybe fake it. In this case, from the 15, makes zero sense. And now your lead's just 6-0 instead of 7-0. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So out comes the Patriots offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Now Jones... That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Two runs in a row, but only two. 
two yards to show for it. And the Jets, D, they call on a couple extra defensive backs on third. Throwing Jones. And this one is incomplete. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. Jake Bailey on down to punt here on fourth down. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. Oh, he's going to go ahead and field it from the three-yard line. A solid 12-yard return after the 55-yard punt. And the Jets offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. down throw. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. He comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. First down, it's White. This pass complete, he finds Jeremy Rucker. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's another first down, and what'll be a gain of 21 yards. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. On first and ten, White. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. But he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield. But as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. White looks to throw. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now White. Going to look deep for Wilson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Here, direct snap to the up end, and he's not going to get to the marker, and that's a turnover on downs. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him, and the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt, and now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and ten. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and ten at the 39-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Jones looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Jones got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Off 
the play fake. Jones. Blitz coming and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Jake Bailey now. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Throw is white. Throwing to start the drive. Open man downfield is Davis. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Back to throw. White. And he slings one that's incomplete. Elijah Moore, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Well, that's a defense coordinator. has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Sliding out of the And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judah. They were trying to set up a screen there, but that one just too slow in developing. Yeah, too slow in developing and well read because that ends up being a bad feeling for the quarterback. When he's got no blocking in front of him, his guys are just going to let defenders go, and they're coming for him. So if it's not there, you just got to throw the ball at the turf at your running back speed. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Looking to throw. White. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the Tartan rule. Bob guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. New England's offense set to go. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. to Harris to begin the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Jones throw there complete to Myers. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a give, running left is Harris. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage.
So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now here's another carry for Harris. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 43. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Six nothing our score after one. Start of the second quarter and it's the Patriots in control of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Out of the gun they give it to Stevenson. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Back to throw. Jones. He completes it to Henry. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 33. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now a first down carry for Harris. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now, what a first down pickup of eight. But well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time, he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Pressure, and he'll go down. Sands back at the 31. John Franklin Myers, the one in there to drop it. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And now out come the Jets. 
Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good game. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing, or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Second in the yard, White, and he fires one incomplete. NFL quarterbacks work so hard on their mechanics, and they do so much repetition and practice off-season, the whole deal. They expect it to be autopilot once the game starts. That way it eliminates any type of pressure of the game, pressure of people in your face, all of that. That didn't shine through on that throw, though, did it? No, a little bit of a dangerous pass and on target, too. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the stop will be inside the 35. New England trying to get a place on offense. The results for them so far, not that great. Well... Not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet, you're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss of the tackle. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Looking to throw. Jones. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now Jones to throw on third down. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Here's Berrios. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. New York's offense back out there and set to go. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Here's White throwing on first down. This one caught by Davis and able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate, as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Well, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were in nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field. 
guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Jones now, throwing to start the drive. Complete, Hunter Henry with the grab. And they're gonna get this down inside the 20. Flag comes in, this might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Offside, Ethan. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Automatic Mark off the five down. and keep it moving. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Back to throw. Jones. They set up the screen for Stevenson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Charles, when you talk about free safeties, I think one word comes to mind, range. And we saw an example of a rangy free safety right there. And I think really good defenders can sniff out those screen passes, just something that they can feel, something that they can sense about how the quarterback drops back or how the lineman is just a little slow to block the oncoming rushers. He read it perfectly, got in there, and made the play. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Operating from the gun, Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Folks, kick is good, and they are on the board, trailing now at six to three. So golden field position there is squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first to goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit to hold them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And New York set to take the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. Oh, I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Connection made to Rucker. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set. Running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. Let's play. Let's play now, baby. Let's play. Let's go. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. The play fake, now White. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there and they're holding the upper hand. 
So the Patriots coming out now. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Throwing to start the drive. Jones setting up a screen for Stevenson. They'll get four there out of the screen and it's second down. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Jones on third down. And that is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. New York ready to go again offensively. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. White. That is caught. It's Uzama. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Off play action, here's White. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Now they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw, White. Open man is Uzama. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range down at the 27-yard line. Now White. A final shot before break. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. So we come upon halftime. 6-3 is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for the Jets. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards yards already through two quarters meanwhile for the Patriots they were on the other end of the spectrum in terms of passing efficiency that's going to need to improve in the second half to come both teams making their final adjustments for the second half to come and to bring the action your way we go back to MetLife Stadium and Brandon God okay coach thanks as always this one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Pulls it in at the 13. The Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, 
They've been playing pretty well. And they've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Harris going to get it again on second down. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. They hand this off to Harris. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now Jones. He's going to float this one deep right side. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down in about the 22-yard line. Well, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end. But how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Throwing Jones. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Gardner, I think they saw something there. I mean, they came from the right side deliberately, and you know there's always a designated guy who goes and blocks it, but it's the rest of his teammates that get it free. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. That's right. Now 
White with a first down throw. He finds Wilson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Just a yard to go here on second down. Now White. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 25-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first down, it's White. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. and 10, White. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. C.J. Uzama from 10 yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking themselves now. Two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention. Got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage and threw it his way. What a big time play right there, both by the quarterback trusting it and by him going up and getting it. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And he pushed it right. It's no good. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Well, the Patriots gearing up to go now. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown. That field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick. Obviously, the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll try the right side with Harris. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Back to throw. Jones. And caught by Henry. The result only four yards there on the play. And third and eight now. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. 
catching the ball and not much run after the catch. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be an occasional, right, safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. On the give, this is Harris. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Running lanes run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On second down and four, Jones. Henry's got it out on the left side. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. Third down here. Now come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. They'll look to throw again. Going deep here for Parker. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. A penalty is declined. Nick Folk for the point after. And the lead is down to two. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Taken in at the three. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. We take a look at Mike White as he and the rest of the offense march out into place. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. On for the extra point is Folk. And the lead is up to five. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Juwan Bentley, and the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Partner, I think this will want to arrive very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Harris running straight ahead. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Looking to throw, Jones. Touchdown! Hunter Henry, a five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over, and here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Fulk connects on the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Berrios now from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. And the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because, remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, You've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And his throw is incomplete. 
I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. And look at this, another fake. Flushed out right. And he will not make it. They stop him short of the first down. So a definite surprise there. They try to fake punt, but this time it's going to blow up in their face, CD. Yeah, it certainly has. And look, I understand what they're trying to do. They're trailing right now, probably trying to generate some momentum. But that felt like one of those go-for-broke type of a plays in a situation where I don't know that they needed to do that. They still have opportunities, and in this case, they took a chance, and it backfired. Here's Jones, throwing to start the drive. Trying to improvise. And he wisely will throw that one away. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down. Touchdown, Patriots! Devontae Parker, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've hit the accelerator. And they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter. And I don't see them looking back. Now full for the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play. to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Ball at the 24 at a second and 11. White looks to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here's White. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Taking in left side, it's Wilson. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. But at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed a push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run. Here's Harris. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Back to throw. Jones. That's caught left side. Myers with it. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now Jones throwing on third and long. And that will be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And now Nick Full, his career long, 56 yards. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and that'll keep this a 19-point game. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. Well, they didn't fall behind any further thanks to that missed field goal, but still staring at this fourth quarter deficit. Let's go. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at the 45. From the shotgun, here's White. He completes it to Wilson. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. score game here late you can probably rule out the comeback but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad white and now here is another interception. And the Patriots are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for them. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball-hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard, but also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player, you have to know the situation. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. 
So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. The Patriots send out their punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. shake off the interception he'll look to throw and boy another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten to throw white his throw incomplete Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Jets on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and 10. Throw right side complete to Carter. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And that will force a turnover on downs. A gutsy decision there at this stage in the second half in their own territory. And a decision that they might regret. Can't wait for the postmortem. You know, this postgame press conference, because the questions are going to come fast and furious about this decision. No matter how the, how the game turns out, right? What were you thinking there? Why did you have a certain play call? Did, were you confident in your defense? Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> it's yeah. going to keep coming up. Yeah, no matter the scoreboard, just tough to justify. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They run again with Harris. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Folks, kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. After the main field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. This will be fielded inside the five. And he returns this to the 22. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. 
Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 23 yards on the play. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And my goodness, another interception. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory.